Oakland A's fans, it's been a tough go as of late. Not a lot of people are showing up. And they did just sign a binding agreement to purchase the site of the Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. They're going to tear it down and build a 30,000-seat stadium. It's going to be incredible. Uh, it's going to be right on the Vegas Strip. If we look broadly, though, because I know how Oakland uh, A's fans probably feel about this. If we look more broadly and to go baseball fans in general, what kind of emotion should they be feeling? This was a blank day for, for baseball fans in general. I feel like it's exciting. It's good. It's a step in the right direction. You got, I just feel so bad for Oakland A's fans. And I remember, I keep messing this up. Okay. I remember Ben Verlander was on a podcast and he said the A's stadium was beautiful, like phenomenal. One of the best ones he ever played at when he was in the minor leagues and he got called up a little bit and he thought that was incredible. So I feel like all the players it's been so disappointing for them too, because they play in front of no fans on a daily basis because they don't invest in their players. They don't go for longevity. And now maybe they move to Vegas. They get a whole new market of fans. They're at the center on the Vegas strip. I think it's exciting. What do you think? I think, yeah, it, Oakland A's fans, obviously aside I, for general baseball fans, I think it's a great day because you're moving, you're right. You're moving to a market that already has the golden Knights who kind of like, set the standard for just, they, they have giant crowds. They have all these fun entertainment. They make it a whole experience. And then you have the, the Raiders show up. They build this gigantic death star, awesome stadium that the NFL is using for all of their stuff. And it's like, yeah, it, it, the, the market has already proven that it's not that big of like a transient city. They do have consistent fans that show up week in and week out. In addition to the tourists that come in and just lose all their money and, you know, go home at the end of the week. Um, there's enough of a demand there for another sports team. And I think the market can sustain that they're going to build an awesome stadium. I just think it's weird that they have to like tear down at like a functioning hotel. I love how they're just like, like yeah, I've been to Vegas. But... It's kind of weird that they're like, yeah, it's this, this giant hotel where we're going to tear that down and build something there. I don't know. That was the one thing that was weird about me, uh, weird to me, but for Oakland, you lost the warriors moved across the Bay to San Francisco. The Raiders, like I just said, moved to Vegas. The A's are about to move to Vegas. It's it's tough. I, I think they should. I don't know. I don't know where they should be mad at. Should be mad at the city. Should they be mad at the teams themselves? I don't know. There's a lot of blame to go around. I, I haven't decided who to put that on yet. I feel like it's a lot of, from the city, just because it's been a trend for mm-hmm. all major sports teams. But I mean, again, the team. Like, if you, if you would have invested in your players, you'd get more fans at games. You'd get more revenue, and everyone would be happy. But you don't want to. I don't understand why. I I went back and I looked. They're dead last in average attendance this year. They're averaging 9,000, which I don't know how they have that many. And I went back and I looked <laughs> and I took out the 2020 COVID season. And um, the last time they were not last or dead last in average attendance was 2019. And I was like, what happened in 2019? They won 97 games and they went oh. to the playoffs. So, oh, that, so that that's, that's what it takes for them to. And they were still 24th in average attendance that year. So Jeez. you're right. There is a correlation between, Hey, this team wins games. Let's go. And this is the worst thing I've ever seen. This shouldn't, this isn't even baseball. They're really bad. I don't want to go. That exactly. Like there's a huge difference with, Oh, they're not a great baseball team, but they're, they're average. You know what I mean? And they have really good promotions and it's fun to go. And then there's, they're going to lose every single game. Why do I want to go sit in the blazing sun? <laughs> Yes. And watch my team lose. <laughs> Those pictures are funny though. There's, oh there's eight. There was a video where there was like 10 people before the game and like the people, you know, like they moved down from the upper, upper deck to go stand in the middle of the concourse. And then like an usher lady walked like a hundred yards to go tell him to leave. Like he can't stand here. I'm like lady, there's 10 people here. Let, <laughs> let the people that paid come in and, and just stand wherever. Let them play second base if they want. <laughs> Do they get to sit wherever they want? You think? Apparently like, is not. it just if like that, a free for all? <laughs> if that lady's on the prowl, that usher, she is making sure you're in your assigned seat. All twelve of you at the stadium get to your seat right now. Yes. Like, what? I no, always, no moving down. That makes me mad because you know what? It's also annoying. I keep going way off key on this, but you know when you're watching a baseball game and then the seats right behind home plate, there's a bunch of empty ones. Bring someone from the top down. That's not fair. 
wouldn't you want those filled? But I'm thinking, okay, so now I'm just picturing Oakland A's literally there, no one being there. It's like, no, you have to go sit in the 200 level section, even though all of 100 is open. Sorry. You should have paid but, more. But those pictures are funny when there's, there's one person who's sitting actually in the top deck in the very last row and he's up there by himself. Like those pictures are funny, but yes, they should just like, if there's 3000 people there, you take the first 3000 closest to the field, which isn't, there's not a lot of them because that bowl in Oakland is like the field is so far back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they should fill that in. I don't know why they don't. Right. It's, I hope, I hope the Oakland A's get some rebirth. It was funny. There was a social media position opening for them. And I said, I feel like the social media team could actually have a lot of fun, like playing on the fact that they lose all the time. Like they could actually make it funny and get their players to do like funny skits and stuff on TikTok. Because, you know, they don't really have anything to lose at that point. Good point. That's what I would do. Just giving you some tips if any, if any of the Oakland A's people are listening. Speaking of correlation, there's also a correlation in social media jobs being available for, like, when the Astros were going through their cheating scandal, I looked and there was, like, an immediate opening for a social media manager. It's like, oh, I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder, wonder what the outcrying of social media is, is all tweeting all at the same time at the team. Yeah. Would not would not want to be in charge during during that. What was so it would have been twenty eighteen? No, no, mm-hmm. no, no, yeah, or, <laughs> not yeah. not the following year. 